What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Bloodborne yet again. And you know what? They finally asked the main man, Miyazaki, about Bloodborne, and thank God for the Elden Ring DLC, because he finally was, you know, put back into the spotlight after two years. Now, honestly, I don't know slash remember if he was asked about this, you know, back in the day. This has been popular for a while, right? People have wanted Bloodborne, whether it's PC, remaster, remake. It's not new. It's definitely, it didn't happen in the last year, two years, but I don't know if it kind of reached like its peak two years ago when Elden Ring came out, so I don't know if this is the first time or if this is just, you know, the most recent time that he was asked about it. So I want to read this uh, article here. It comes from Eurogamer, and this is actually where the interview took place itself, and so he was asked about, you know, the possibility of a Bloodborne remake, and he said, is a title we hold very dear and just as much as our fans. Uh, it does make me very happy to see that there are still so many passionate people about it. And then they ask the question, would a remake benefit from newer hardware to make the release worthwhile? And he said, I think having new hardware is definitely a part of what gives these remakes value. Uh, things you weren't able to achieve on previous generations of hardware, ways you weren't able to render specific expressions, new hardware sometimes makes it possible. However, I wouldn't say that's the be-all, end-all. I think purely from a user perspective, modern hardware allows more players to appreciate all the games. And so it ends up being a simple reason, but as a fellow player, I think that accessibility is important. I think that can be the driving force between bringing an old game to a new platform. And then they say that he was just very happy to see the passionate fans calling for the remake to happen. He also apologized for not being able to say anything more, basically, uh, but that he was thrilled at the game's continued response. Put simply, it makes me very happy to see it's a title with a lot of specific memories, both for me and the staff who worked on it. And when we see those passionate voices in the community, of course, it makes us thrilled. It makes us feel very fortunate to have that and to have those memories. And then that's kind of where it ends. The article goes on to say, and this is true, you know, there's been some modding and there, there's they're trying. There's people trying to bring this game basically to different platforms and get it working. So that was pretty much it. And I just want to say a few things. It is very funny, like the style of questions and the style of answers. You know what I mean? I, I don't think we were ever going to get an answer from him, you know, in this way. Now, I'll be honest, the way he talks talks about it Do, and I don't want to go you know a uh, clown makeup on okay I mean we've done that enough times right but I will say honestly the way he talks about it if you were to say well he's talking about it that way because secretly you know behind the scenes Sony is working on you know a remaster remake I believe you you know he he definitely gives off those vibes right of uh, you know kind of dodging questions and, and talking about just the excitement right like oh it's still good to see people want it and people do still want it and we loved making it and even the comment about newer consoles now that doesn't have to mean ps5 it doesn't have to mean like modern day pcs it actually could mean in the future right it could actually mean even more new you know newer things ps6 can you do things on the ps6 you weren't able to do on ps4 i mean yes the answer is yes same thing for ps5 though same thing for pc versus you know ps4 back in the day so is it possible that, you know, with future generations it could happen? I mean, I like that answer because it's kind of a mix of different things of, hey, it's basically almost a preservation thing. I mean, he kind of said that without saying it, right? Like it allows newer players, maybe that didn't originally play, kind of gives a breath of fresh air to it so people that did play it can play it again. Uh, again, like the newer consoles would help it. So I like that part to it for sure. And it probably, and I've said this before, it probably does happen. I, I just don't see how... Bloodborne in all of its popularity and as from software continues to grow. You know, like Bloodborne, they were already kind of big, but they weren't at this, you know, astronomical. You know, they're they're at a high level right now, all right, with Elden Ring. So I think you put all those things together, it absolutely makes sense to move it up. And you see with what they're doing with, you know, Last of Us, and there's rumors of like a God of War remake, there's rumors of an Uncharted remake. There's a clear desire to get older, you know, PlayStation, let's say PlayStation franchises, right, and move it up. It continues to be insane how this hasn't happened. And it could be Sony, like, needs them or wants to have them, let's say, right, and they're just too busy or, you know, whatever. There's probably several reasons. <laughs> it might not have actually even be, like, one thing, right? Um, but I do believe, truly, it's going to happen at some point. It's just when. But I'm glad we got some answers. But again, I mean, you dodge a lot of them. 
them, and it really doesn't give you, you know, much. It doesn't necessarily, like, kill hope for it, but it doesn't, like, I don't think it gives you hope either. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. I hope to see you all on the next one.